Hi everyone, this is Ahmed Kremni and welcome to Be Efficient TV. The mission of this web TV show is to boost the efficiency of your business and life with tips and tricks from leading experts. And today we are recording a very special series with Speaking Dubai experts. Today I have with me Anita Clifford. She is a corporate coach. Welcome to the show, Anita. Thank you, Ahmed. My pleasure. Why corporates need coaching? Well, uh, it has been proven by a lot of research by scientists as well as scholars that uh, happiness in an organization is very important for a corporate's productivity. And uh, it's also been proven that corporate coaches can help increase the return of investment for a for a corporate more than the trainings. We all know that trainings help boost the return on investment, uh, but it's also been proven that uh, corporate coaching can increase it far more than what the trainings can provide. How to motivate the employees inside any corporation? As I said, happiness is a key factor. People want to feel engaged, motivated, and uh, what happens is Sometimes managers, uh, I mean, people are put into a managerial position where they don't really understand the importance of that role and the number of hats that they need to wear. And one of the role of a manager is as a coach. And uh, so what corporate coaches do is, one, one is uh, we train the, uh, the managers, the seniors, because it comes to the executives. We train the executives to be able to coach the employees. We so, and once um, the executives understand their role, now it, it's always a top-down uh, way for, for the corporate to increase their productivity. It has to come from the top. Uh, the people need to be feel valued and the managers, the seniors is the ones who will set that example and show them that they are valued and they give them the proper feedback, the proper coaching that they need. So, As far as I know that you faced so many challenges in the past, what makes you, what made you overcome these challenges and not quit? Uh, yeah, I faced a lot of, I mean, many years back, I actually hit rock bottom, as in uh, I had a couple of health issues, which the doctor says was incurable, and um, yeah, I had no money, and uh, I'd lost my confidence. Now, that at that point of time, I w when you are facing problems, your mind just becomes blank. And uh, it was just a kind word of a lady who just motivated me. And uh, see, it's, a, it's just one word which, which will take to transform a, a person's life in, when they are in s that kind of a situation. So, but since then... What, what did she tell you? She told me, Anita, don't worry. She was a Reiki healer because I had given up hope on all the other medications. And I said, okay, let me go to the Reiki. And she said, Anita, uh, forget about what other people think of you. It's your life. You just go out there and work because you have a daughter to take care of and you have to look after yourself. So please go out there. Don't worry about what people have to say. Just work. And that's what I did. I, I went there immediately. I got a job and I didn't care what people thought or what. I just focused on my work. And when you're focused on your work, your problems fade away. So, and yeah. why you decided to become a coach, corporate coach? So, so over the years, I found that um, I've learned, I've mastered the art of overcoming challenges. Now, it's just, it doesn't mean that my problems just went away overnight. I had even worse problems and challenges coming my way. But what I learned is how to overcome these over and over and over again. And now I'm at a stage where I feel I am in a position with so much of experience to share with others. And I see in my, amongst my friends, amongst my colleagues, I, what I witnessed is people just need that human touch, that human factor. So I just wanted to be that person to help bring about this change in organizations. You yeah. mentioned the engagement and mm -hmm. uh, happiness. How to boost the engagement and happiness of employees in, in, inside any organization? Uh, basically, people need to, uh, to feel wanted to be, and uh, happiness comes from it within. But most of the times, we are always looking for happiness outside uh, from outside so one way is how we we train like i i conduct programs where i teach people how to find happiness within themselves uh, 
and once you find happiness within but it's it's a long process because people come with different backgrounds and with different experiences and all of this has an impact on our lives and it can be the senior managers also they can be going through a hell of a lot of problems in their home and then they have to come and deal with employees who also bring along a lot of experiences and backgrounds with them and especially in dubai people come from different backgrounds and we do not know who's facing what problems or what upbringings they've had so uh when when one person f- has that happiness within no matter what happens around they will always be at peace and they can share that happiness with one another and this is a personal experience that i went through myself before uh, all of this and that is how i'm able to share it with others and teach them how to to implement it in their life as well do you well. agree that happiness is an event it's not an event no <laughs> so it's hard. so i mean you can create events to make people happy and yes it will okay if, if as a manager i celebrated a success of a person it will definitely boost their self esteem and ego and make them feel good so that's a a good gesture which will uh, transpire with them but yeah just having a party and all that and making feel people happy this is just a outward sign what matters most is the meaning that has gone beyond i mean within that whole aspect so it's the human the human touch the the old motive of what has gone into that so it's not just giving them a um, money or uh, spending on something these things will pass away because this is just hedonistic happiness it's not the real happiness the real true happiness comes from within us thank you so much and i really appreciate it thanks thank you ahmed it has been a pleasure. pleasure thanks everyone be efficient and stay efficient and see you soon with another leading expert